hi guys welcome back i am back for another candle review now this is the second part um i did one yesterday and i'm gonna do one today but like i said in the one before these are my opinions on the candles that i purchased at candle day how they've been burning when i do burn them and the way the wick is, the smell, the throw of it throughout the whole home, it's my opinion, okay? I am not an expert of reviewing candles. I don't know how thick the wick is. I don't know um, how much liquid was poured into to make the can. I'm not that type of expert. I don't know what... <laughs> Just want to give you guys a heads up. I'm not that type of expert, but I will give my opinion on the candles that I purchased. And today, the first one is this beauty. And it is the Cactus Blossom one by White Barn. I can't tell you the fragrance notes in this. Cactus Flower Petals, Sun Kissed Coconut, Vanilla, Fresh Sparkling Lemon with essential oils and the wick itself is white as you can see and it smells amazing I love smelling my candles I'm sorry Whew. one more time <laughs> okay as you can see I have this much left of the candle. Now I have not been purchased. Um, I say purchasing. I have not been burning them like every single day. I only burn them when I am at home by myself. Like right now, I'm probably about to burn cactus blossom any minute. Um, because I'm at home by myself. <laughs> All of the men are gone. Um, but yes. So cactus blossom. Let's get into it. From a scale from 1 to 10, so far as the throw. And what I mean by throw is how strong the candle is and how it goes from one area to another area. So basically, if I lit it in my bedroom, will I be able to smell it in my family room? Now, like I stated in the last video, I live in a ranch-style home. So everything is on one level. Um... But yes, so, Cactus Blossom, scale to 1 to 10, give it a 10. As soon as you take the top off, it smells good. It smells the same way when you are burning it. It burns evenly, even though some of the wicks give you that mushroom, like this one and that one. They do give you that mushroom, but it smells amazing. Amazing. Sorry, I <laughs> just had to, Woo! it smells good. If you have not smelled the Cactus Blossom, I recommend you going into Bath and Body Works, smelling the Cactus Blossom. And if you really love it, purchase it because this, this one right here is a really good. It's, it's a banger in my opinion. But again, it do much, well, mine's anyway, do mushroom out. They do recommend that you um, cut your wicks a fourth before you burn them. So, um, I usually cut it right after I finish burning once it's settled back like this. It's like back hard. And that way, the next time when I'm ready to burn it, I won't have to, oh, did I cut it or... Did I forget to cut it? I go ahead and do it that same night or that same day. That way the next time I burn it, I can just go ahead and jump right into burning. Even though it doesn't take that long, I just take a, some little scissors and I snip the fourth of the wick off. And as you can see, I still have a lot of wick left, which is awesome. And it, like I said, it does burn evenly, which is good. That's a plus. If I put it in my bedroom, it goes throughout the whole home. Now, if I put it in my bathroom, all of the doors have to be open. 
But sometimes I have the doors closed because I really want my room itself <laughs> to smell like it. That's why, it's, that's why I can be really strong in the bedroom. But other than that, Cactus Blossom, I recommend. Promise you, you won't regret it. Now, the Cactus Blossom is a white barn collection. Part of the white barn collection. But, um... And the regular price for these candles, the three-week candles, is $24.50. I believe they have went up this year. Not really sure. But that was the talk last year that they want to go up like a an extra dollar. So instead of $24.50, it would be $25.50. I'm not sure yet. I would definitely be making a video on that, though. For all the new prices and things like that that's going on in Bath and Body Works. So that's the next video that will be coming up. But yes, Cactus Blossom. And I got it in this pretty pink candle glass. I'm sorry, the glass itself. Okay, now my next one. <laughs> this one, every time I look at it, I laugh because Tina Marie... Who is also a YouTube um she has her own YouTube channel that's what I'm trying to say Tina Marie she loves the smell of this candle she's I remember watching one of her videos and she said that she has it in her garage and she loves the smell of it and the song that she started to sing was I believe it's by Salt and Pepper. Like, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Because that's the way that this candle smells. It smells like a good smelling man now. Okay? When I mean. <laughs> it smells it smells amazing. Like this is the this is how I really want to talk to you guys this whole time. So with this candle, <laughs> because it smells so good. This is a man in a candle. A good smelling man. Let me take that back. Good smelling man in a candle. Because when she said it on her video, I was like, okay, I have to go in there and smell this candle. Because at first I was smelling the mahogany teak wood, but this is mahogany teak wood high intensity. So there's a difference. This this one is stronger than just the mahogany teak wood. So I smelled the mahogany teak wood and I was like, yeah, it smells like a man. But I was like, I'm not getting that oof. Like she was getting. So I said, okay, is there another one? And this one so happened to be by itself on like one of the displays. But it was mixed in with another one. And I was like, what is this black candle? Because you didn't see the words. You just saw this part. I was like, what kind of candle is that? And so when I turned it around, I saw that it says mahogany tea with high intensity. So I was like, hmm. Maybe some. And as soon as I took the lid off. And smelled it like this, I was like, oh my God. And I started saying, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Because <laughs> it smells so good. Tina Marie, is, <laughs> if you don't know who she is, go and check out her channel as well. Make sure you subscribe to her channel because she is bum. She does Bath and Body Works videos as well. She really gets into the deep, like, Oh my gosh. And the and the funny thing about that is this is the actual candle that was turned like this in the store the night before a candle day. I don't know why it was still in that particular area on candle day, but I grabbed it because I put it back a certain way and I said, okay, I want to see if they're going to really move it because I didn't see any other ones. For some other reason, I did not see any more mahogany tea wood high intensity candles but I don't know maybe this particular one was meant just for me <laughs> because when I went back on candle day and find something in the morning 
he was still sitting right there. And he is amazing, okay? Like, amazing. Okay, scale of 1 to 10, 10, like, I, really, 10. There's no, like, this is, this one, I will buy this one over and over and over and over and over again. I will take this one over Cactus Blossom. Um, what's my other favorite one? The Pink Apple Punch. Champagne Toast. If, like, if they are ever sold out of any of those that I mentioned. And this is the only candle left it, throughout the whole store. And it's five of them left. I will probably purchase all five. I will go back to my couponing days. And purchase all. I will clear the shelf. As I used to say. <laughs> when I was couponing. I will clear the shelf. Because I'm telling you. This is amazing. Okay, I haven't even read you guys the <laughs> the scent notes on this yet. Okay, scale to one to ten. Ten so far as the throw. Bedroom, family room, kitchen, where lunch, wherever I put it. When you walk in, it's gonna smell like a man. I'm sorry. Good smelling man. You gotta make sure you put that part in. Good smelling man. <laughs> um. The scent notes on this is an, an, an intense version of our classic home fragrance with notes of rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender with essential oils. It looks like this. It's just all black all the way around. The top looks like this. Oh my gosh. It burns evenly. Burns all the way through. As you can see, I was burning it and then I stopped it really early before we had a chance to get here and there and there. But whoo, it's just a, a good smelling man in a in a jar. It's so like I don't know what they use to make this candle, but Bath and Body Works, please. Please do not discontinue this one. Don't do it. I will just just don't do it to me, please. If you out there watching, <laughs> don't do it. But this one is amazing. Um, it burns evenly, as you can see. The wicks are still good. So yeah, um, I would definitely recommend getting this one. Uh, 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 like you have to. Let me get. Let me get you. Make sure you be able to screenshot. It looks just like this. Mahogany teak wood, high intensity. Need another view. It looks like that. <laughs> I promise you, you will not regret it. I promise. I promise that this candle. I think I'm gonna burn this one instead of the cactus blossom. I haven't burned him in a while. <laughs> okay, next one is sweater weather. Sweater weather. What can I say about sweater weather? Smell is amazing. Number one. As you can see, it's so good. That I have not even burned it yet. Because I don't want to. Because first off, the packaging is great. So pretty. But the candle itself. Like. <sighs> it smells so good. It's so pretty. It's like a gray, as you can see, it's, it's like, I really don't want to burn it, like, at all. So, that's how thick the wicks are. So, and I got this during Kim's day, so it has like a little snowflake on it. It's amazing. I don't think I would ever burn this candle. Like, this can be my last candle. And it's like... 
I'm not, I don't think I'm going to ever burn it. I, well, I said the same thing about the mahogany teak wood, but I had to burn him because he's amazing. But, yeah. Mm, so, I can't give you a scale on 1 to 10 about the throw. But, a scale from 1 to 10 when you take the top off, the smell is definitely a 10. So, weather, weather, I don't know what it looks like now. It may look, the packaging will probably be totally different because this was during Christmas time. But, weather, weather. Woo! Because I know during Candle Day, the other packaging, it actually looks like a sweater and it went all the way around. But this one is amazing. Sweater weather. Scale of 1 to 10. Give it a 10 just for opening. Now, if I do decide to burn it, I would definitely do a video just for this candle. <laughs> because all of my other ones I have burned. I believe I burned all of them already. Yeah, so I think this is my last one that I I just don't want to burn it. But if I do decide to burn this one, I promise you guys, you will get a special video just for this guy. And last but not least, it's the pineapple mango. And it goes all the way around. Just like this. Oh my god, it smells so good. It actually, to me, it smells like a good frozen drink. Frozen drink? Uh, <laughs> that's what it actually smells like. It smells like a good frozen margarita or, um, what's another one? Yeah, like a good, oh, Oh, a good jello shot. That, oh, yes. Because I think I had pineapple mango when I made jello shots. That's where the other, because I kept smelling this can. I'm like, okay, besides margarita, what else am I getting from this? And I, it just clicked. Jello shots. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It smells good. The wicks are doing awesome. They are not mushrooming out. Which is good. Um, I don't know if I told you guys about the... Let's go back to the mahogany teak wood. Those have not mushroomed either. They're still good. Still good wicks. Just like this one. It has not mushroomed out on me. And some of my other candles. But, it's doing pretty good. It burns evenly, which is good. Scale to 1 to 10. Um, when you take it off, it smells good. When you burn it, it's okay. It's not as strong. So, so far as the throw, I would have to actually, if I put this one in my bathroom and want it to fill up, like the whole house is probably going to only make it to like the end of the hallway or maybe in the family room. But yeah, this throw isn't that good, but it does smell good. It does make your house smell very fruity, but the throw is not good. So from scale to 1 to 10, I give it a 7 so far as the throw on it. But... Yeah, I would definitely, I don't know if I, I, I can honestly say I would not purchase this again. Once it runs out, once I finish it, that's it. I wouldn't do it again because the throw isn't good. Now, if the throw was really good, like all my other ones, like if they were like a, if it was like a nine or a 10, I would definitely get it again. But the throw isn't that good. It smells good for a little while when you first burn it. It may be 30 or 40 minutes later. It's just like, it's just a candle burning. Unfortunately. So I don't know what they're missing out of this. Let me read you the scent notes. It's fresh pineapple, juicy mango, 
Vine Ripened Raspberry with Essential Oils. Um, yeah, I would, I don't recommend you going out. Then again, you may like this. It may do well in your home, but so far as my home, it does not. And it looks like this. So, and I forgot to give you, so, so far as that one, I give it a seven, the throw on it. Give it a seven. Cactus Blossom. Sorry. Ten. Sweater Weather. Without even burning it. Just lifting up the top. Ten. Um, Just the smell of it. Not the throw. But just the smell of the candle itself. The throw. Twenty. Can I say twenty? Instead of. But I'm using a scale one to ten. So I have to. Ten. So, yes, um, pineapple, mango, a seven, definitely a seven. But I'm going to go back to sweater, weather because I forgot to mention the scent notes in this one. And um, I also want to tell you guys, all of these candles, all three wick candles are $24.50. Like I stated earlier, I, I believe I read something last year that it was going to go up a dollar. I'm not sure. But I will be making my way back into the store because I haven't been in there. Wow, in a long time. I think my last time was can No, I did the SAS, which is the semi-annual sale. If you haven't checked out those videos, make sure you go check those out too. I got some good stuff. <laughs> okay, so in the sweater, weather, scent, um, the fragrant notes are Fresh Sage, Jupiter, Berry, Aromic, um, I say aromic, <laughs> aromatic, eucalyptus, fresh woods with essential oils. <laughs> that was funny to me, I'm sorry. And remember, it looks like this. So, I just want to say thank you guys for hitting the play button on this. If you have not subscribed, it's not too late. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click the post notification bell so every time a video is uploaded, you'll be notified and you can hit the play button. Thank you for all the love. Thank you all for the support. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.